Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2018-19 Panini Chronicles Basketball 12 box picker team 3 from jazbeescasebreaks.com once again. Big thanks to all of these folks who bought their team straight up. Now we need to figure out who's going to be getting these block of teams right here, these 10 teams, and who's going to end up on top of the randomizer to get the Dallas Mavericks and pick your team 3. We have not seen any Luka autographs yet, so maybe it'll be, it'll be this one. Um, well, let's find out straight away who's going to get the Dallas Mavericks. There we go. Good luck to these folks right here. We're getting into it. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list. Ten times. Four and a six. Two. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. After ten times, Sean, congrats. You just bought one spot? Is that right? Ten times? Ten times? Yeah. Lucky dog. Everyone else, sorry. Consolation prizes right here. Five dollars of break credit. We'll send all that out. Uh, later tonight. But Sean is the big winner in this one. There you go, man. Good luck. Hey, all it takes is one. All right, now for these other 10 teams right here. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. Let's see what you're... So, so this one, you're guaranteed a team. All right, so let's roll the dice on this one. One and a four, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. One and a four, five times, five times. Eric down to Stephen K. All right, so Eric, you have the Lakers and Sixers. So maybe a little Laker Joe Mojo. Lakers... Sixers. Rick, you have the Celtics. A little Oppo Joe Mojo. Anthony with the Jazz. Fred with the Rockets and Pacers. Nancy, you got the Pelicans. Jeremy with the Thunder. It's Nancy's Pelicans. Eric with the Raptors. World Champs. And Stephen K. You're a wizard, Stephen. All right, with the Washington Wizards. So thanks to all. Good luck to all. And let's see what we can do. Uh, we'll try, Sean. That's the whole idea. Try to get you that Luka Doncic. Now, good news is, is there's like there's like tons of Luka Doncic, like numbered cards and whatnot in here. So, <laughs> sorry, I know. We'll just have to make the entire case Wizards hits. How about that? Then, then, then it'll be okay. All right. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> what was the buy-in for the Maverick spot? A lot.
All right, all right, all right. Good luck, everybody. What's the latest, folks? I haven't been able to look at any sports news or anything like that today. What's the latest? Give me the latest. In the free agent market, what's the latest? Now, here's what I know. Kemba Walker, I think supposedly, I mean, nothing's going to be settled until tomorrow, but Kemba Walker supposedly going to go to the Celtics, right? Kyrie is pretty much set for the Brooklyn Nets, right? Klay Thompson, I think, is pretty much set for the Warriors. What else? All right, so just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze by these numbered cards, but our, our shipping team will sort those out and sleeve those up and send those off. Unless they're like out of 10 or less or something like that. So you'll get all these Luca cards. The only thing that's not shipping out are these. These are the vet base right here. So these won't ship out, but you'll get most of everything, ladies and gentlemen. This will ship out, of course, too, because it's numbered. Vucevic resigned. Speaking of Vucevic. So he's resigning with with Orlando. Like that Trey Young, look at that. Five out of ten Trey Young for Erickson Sala and the Hawks. Yeah, like Sean was saying, Carmona, it, it was thirty six ninety nine a spot. To get like a four hundred dollar team or something like that. So that just leaves Kevin Durant and uh, there he is. That just leaves Kevin Durant and Kawhi, right? It's kind of still up in the air. If everybody else is, if all the other kind of top elite free agents are spoken for. There's Kevin Love, 10 out of 49 for the Cavs. Rich with the Cavaliers. LeBron to the T-Wolf. That would open up a lot of cap space for the Lakers. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I wonder what's going to I it's going to be exciting. I mean, what does uh no, I don't think anyone has any idea what what Kawhi is going to do. There's rookie ascent autograph, Lonnie Walker the 4th for the Spurs, that's for Josh Pruce. So you got you got to think that I mean, this, again, it's all speculation, of course. You got to think that KD will either sign with the Warriors or dot 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 someone else, right? That someone else could most likely be the Brooklyn Nets, Nets with Kyrie, which apparently has been talked about before, getting together, teaming up. So there's some speculation there. Kawhi, I could see very easily going right back to the Raptors, maybe on a shorter contract, maybe a two-year plus an option or something like that. It's like, hey, let's try to run it back. Let's see what happens. Let's try to run it back. Let's see what happens. I can see that happen. And then, and then he gets to take another bite out of the free agent. Like, imagine if he wins a second title in a row. You know, maybe you've got that sort of motivation. I would. If I won a title, I'd be like, let's try to run this back. Let's see if we can do it twice in a row. If not, peace. You know, I'll, 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 go, I'll go to where I want to go, you know. But I'd, I'd like to give it one more run. I'll sign a one plus an opt-out or something like that. There's Hamadou Diallo. Everyone's talking Kawhi. Ooh, nice. Gold standard edition. Jersey and auto. Four out of 99. That is sweet. Gold standard football coming out soon, folks. I wish it would make a gold standard basketball. Didn't they used to? 
OKC, Jeremy Anderson. Got Oklahoma City in a randomizer. Nice. Everyone says that Kawhi is going to go to the Lakers, but there's been some talk about, or the Clippers, that is. But I think Vegas odds are moving towards, there's Rookie Ascent autograph, Troy Brown Jr. There's a wizard, Stephen K. Not over the moon about getting randomized the wizard, but hey, you got to hit, man. 76 out of 99. Some people like the Troy Brown Jr., I think. Organization's a bit of a mess, but people like the Troy Brown Jr. Vegas odds are apparently leaning more towards Kawhi going to the Lakers. What do they know? What does Vegas know? Luka at 99. Oh, I was going to go to a Japanese team. Just just destroy all Japanese basketball league like uh, records there. Nick Stanley's thinking uh, LeBron, Kawhi, KD, just too much in my opinion. But he hopes Kawhi goes to the Clippers. Now, that's what everyone's been saying for a long time. But the last week or so, I mean, this could all just be smoke and mirrors, but the last week or so there seemed to be some talk about him going to the Lakers. Don't know. We were, we were laughing earlier about what if Kawhi just says F it and just does something, just something just throws a curveball at the entire league and just goes to like Milwaukee, teams up with Giannis and just be like, all right. It's Luca to 49. There's a um, out of 10, Jimmy, but what's Jimmy Butler going to do? And we've got XR, Jersey and Auto. Kuroks. Rory owns Kuroks. 9 out of 50 for the Brooklyn Nets. John Alfie's the Nets. Nets could suddenly look like an interesting team. They were pretty exciting last year. If they add Kyrie, if they add KD, ooh. Karis LeVert was having a pretty good season before he destroyed like his ankle. He came back, but before he destroyed his ankle, it kind of threw, threw the momentum of his season kind of off a little bit. You know, losing D'Angelo Russell, but you get an upgrade with Kyrie. And you play some energetic basketball. And who's that, who's that other guy that I really like? Jared Allen, I think. Yeah, Jared Allen. Big, big dunks from Jared Allen. Rim protector as well. So they got some defense on that team too. They got some scrap to that team. It could be very interesting. Steven Adams to 149. And we got Robert Parrish. Jersey and auto. 70 out of 99. That goes to Rick K, who has the Boston Celtics, a little oppo Joe Mojo. Nick Stanley said, what, Kawhi goes to your Pistons? D. Rose, Griffin, Drummond? That'd be quite a team. And they, got, they, got a, they got a former coach of the year, too, coaching that team.
Maybe Ka- Kawhi wants to play with Jimmy Butler with the Clippers. Can they can they afford both? Jimmy Butler and Kawhi? I don't know what the Clippers cap situation is, but I, I suppose they could move. They can trade some guys if that if that ended up coming to pass. Yeah, where does Jimmy Butler go? I haven't heard Jimmy Butler connected with the Clippers, but that could very well happen. It's the Knicks that I feel like have gotten burned during this whole process, right? You know, I mean, I, th- I think people have, have said, oh man, you know, the Celtics, look at all those picks they had, and now they just kind of have to reset. Yeah, and that's it's true. But really, it's the Knicks, I think, who kind of got screwed this entire year. They were They were tanking for Zion. <laughs> And then no, they don't get that number one pick. They don't have, they got a better draft pick than the Lakers, but they don't have the assets that the Pelicans want to try to get Anthony Davis. All right, let's go get Kyrie. You know, no, he's gonna apparently he's going to the Nets. All right, let's go get let's go get Kemba. No, he looks like he's going to uh, he's going to the the Boston Celtics. Uh, Tim Frazier will go to the Bucks. Bradley with that one. And then if if Kyrie goes to the Nets, then maybe KD follows. And and all of a sudden, what's what's left for for the New York Knicks? Jimmy Butler, maybe. They can max Tobias Harris on that team. So it. Gets kind of weird there. Bucks have to fill out that roster. Oh, Jimmy Butler meeting with the Heat on Sunday. That'd be interesting. We got Marvin Bagley the third autograph. Nice. A lot more on-card autographs this year than last. Someone pointed that out. And I was like, yeah, that's right. Makes the set real nice. Momentous rookie is going to um, Eric Bailey and the Kings. There you go, Eric. What are these guys going to do? Got a lot of nice young players. Oh, no, didn't they They sign Harrison? They maxed Harrison Barnes, right? Which I think is a really good fit for the for that team. Yeah, National Treasures basketball will be out of control. The pricing of it will be out of control. Um, Especially if Zion has a good season. Even if he doesn't, it'll still be pricey. If he does, it'll be out of it'll be out of control. Just like Luca, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't think he was even the, the the Dallas wasn't even the most expensive team towards the beginning of the basketball season. That still would have been the Suns. And then as the season went on, you know, you saw Luka Doncic just going, just having a great season. That's the key. Zion hype is already there. Now the next step is Zion just destroying Summer League, right? Which is in like a week. See him just throwing down throwing down dunks and just making other, other rookies and second year players look ridiculous out there. And then, the, and then there's just just destroy in the first couple months of the season, and that'll set the tone for the hobby. I think it's kind of like what Luka Doncic did, because people are like, "Well, how much how much do you think?" Nice, Javon Carter. Welcome back, Carter. Twenty seven out of forty nine for the Grizz. Justin with that one. Everyone's like, "Oh, what do you think Zion's gonna go for, Joe? What do you think Zion's gonna go for, Joe?" And I was like, "Well, 
think about Luca. Like it's a lot of it is sure hype, but then it depends on hey they have to perform too. You know, like a lot of Otani hype until he was like he was just playing like crap in spring training a couple years ago, right? But then regular season flips the switch and he just goes nuts. See, and that set the that set the tone for the rest of the season. And Otani rookie year was crazy. Doncic rookie year crazy. Here's Walter Davis for the uh, Phoenix Suns, 15 out of 49. Going to, um, going to Eric Bailey for the Phoenix Suns. But see, that that's a good question. Can Zion shoot? Or is he Blake Griffin 2.0? Is Blake Griffin that bad, though? If Zion maxed out at, let, let's say he's a healthy Blake Griffin, that'd be cool, right? Can Giannis shoot? People, people think Giannis is pretty good. So does Zion even have to shoot in this modern age, in the way basketball is being played these days? There's Luka Doncic, 99. Zion, yeah, you mentioned that the other night too. What's he being sued for again? Is that case actually going to go anywhere? Well, being sued for it doesn't mean it's actually going to go through, so I don't think he has to worry about paying for it yet. Rex saying, since attendance is down for all sports, I wish they would really do a basketball type thing. What does that, what does that mean? That's true, but see, that's, that is the difference. Giannis is pretty long. You see what Enos Cantor said about Zion? Enos Cantor on a radio show was just like, or Colin Coward, I think. He was like, I don't know, I don't understand what's so big about, you know, what's big about, uh, what's the big deal about uh, Zion? He was like, Enos Kander was like, Zion's like, like Julius Randle with hops. Oh, you're saying basketball. <laughs> basketball is going to save attendance? Attendance is down because, because everyone has a million other things to do. They can play fun, like immersing video games. They can watch group breaks. They can watch Netflix and Hulu and. All that sort of stuff. Sometimes just watching on TV is just a better experience. There's Robert Covington for the Timberwolves. Terry Rozier to the Hornets. That's interesting. Where's Al Horford going to go? If you start going down the tiers of, of once you get past elite tier talent, Jersey and Otto, Robert Williams to 50. Um, Rex, I always thought that someone would have started a basketball league before. Like, there are kids who play, who play like Quidditch, right? From Harry Potter, it's just like, it's sort of like a, a spin on Ultimate Frisbee. But you would think that basketball, someone would have tried. Someone must have, when that movie came out, someone must have tried to, tried to start like some sort of league. Whereas, some college kids probably played basketball. There had to be. Had to be. How about a sport where runners chase NASCARs? No, that's dumb. Pass. Pass on that idea, Rex. What else you got? What else can you pitch me? Why would they chase NASCARs? I don't get it. Horford returning to the Celtics. Interesting. I feel like news is going to be wild. It's going to be all over the place. Everyone's going to be hearing something. All 
All right, we are halfway through this full case break. Got about another 20, 25 minutes to go, which should bring us pretty close to the top of the hour and the last hour of the broadcast. I only see one order coming in, and that is from Richard. And Richard gets a couple spots in the football mixer, the gold rush break, to help fill that football mixer up. Remember, we gotta we gotta fill that random up by the end, pretty much by the top of the hour, by the end of this break, maybe a little bit after that, so we can have that hour to do that 15 box football mixer. Interesting. If I could buy an MLB game for a buck or two on demand, I would, but you can't. Hmm. I think that would help viewership for certain games. But they have to, I think, like, all the licensing and stuff, like, that's already a package deal, right? So they got, I think they have to say, well, we already have to hit this level, this amount of money to pay for the licensing. I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> and Rex says, you know it would be fun to get breakers together to have a contest so you can break a case of Ginter the fastest? I would come in last. I would pass on that contest. I'd be like, no thanks. There's Luke Kennard, 7 out of 25 for the Pistons. Derek Williams for the Pistons. Adam says he's buying a Kemba jersey ASAP. He thinks that the uh, Kemba Kyrie is going to be it's going to be a rivalry. Oh right, didn't Kemba drop like 50 points on Kyrie and the Celtics this past season? But then like Kyrie was very dismissive about it. And to Knox in the box, Kevin Knox. 29 out of 75. James with the Knicks. Kevin Knox could be interesting. A little more experience under his belt. Next box. Is Kyrie overhyped? I don't think so. I think he's I think he's right where he needs to be. I think he's a top He's a top ten player in the league, right? But not that he winds well, he's a He's a little weird. Uh, you know, and I'm not, I mean, we're all weird, right? Like, I, who am I to say who's weird or not? But, and I'm not saying, like, you got to have a ball player that has to be a certain stereotypical ball player kind of thing. But it's like, you can't, there's a, he's, there's a sort of passive aggressiveness that, that he has sometimes if things aren't going his way. So, yeah, a little whiny, like Stephen K was saying. Just, I don't know. There's just something, I don't know. There's there's like something where Bill Sim. I was listening to the Bill Simmons podcast the other day, a recent one, and he had explained it perfectly. I forgot how he put it, but but uh, like he just calls out teammates in a weird way. <laughs> or at least he did it with the Celtics, you know what I mean? But. Yeah, moody, I guess. But I mean, we're all a little moody, right? I'm, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to try to say, try, you know, try to make it seem like, hey, being emotional is wrong or something like that. It's not what it is, but it's just kind of a we. He's a weird teammate, you know. And so that doesn't. He's not a leader, you know. Leaders, leaders are a little more stereotypical. You, you leaders have. 
you know, have certain traits that you want to have in a leader that's, you know, there's less moral ambiguity that leaders have. They, they've got a clear sense of this is right, this is wrong. That's what makes good leaders, you know. And, and yeah, and Ky I don't think Kyrie is that, but he thinks he is, which I think might be the problem. He <laughs> this maybe lacks a little bit of that self-awareness. See, yeah, Kawhi is weird, but that, he's just quiet. You know, he just doesn't talk to people. He just, he's not like, I want to be out there and, you know, have a podcast and go on interviews and do all that stuff. That's not him. Redemption. I don't think I've seen too many redemptions in this set. So that's the concern. If you're about to give max money to, to Kyrie Irving, do you give max money to a spoiled Brad? Like, you give $30 million for that? So th there's a lot of talk in the NBA. They're like, hey, people don't want to have... People don't necessarily want to have Kyrie as the main star, pay him as the main star. If he's the secondary elite star, right, behind LeBron or behind KD with the Nets or something like that, Kyrie's great. But if he's the, if he's the man and you're paying him that much, you don't know what you're going to get. We know what the Knicks are going to get. They're going to get this Mitchell Robinson Gold Standard Rookie Jersey autograph. That is for James with the Knicks. All right, Rex, I, I, I like these ideas you're pitching me here. What do you got next? Show, actually, how cool would it be if Topps or Panini had a breaking contest and then a winning breaker would say win $50,000 worth of case for your business? Rex, Rex is overestimating <laughs> or underestimating how cheap some of these manufacturers can be. They're never going to give away $50,000. Not to, not to case breakers. Not to us. There's no way they would do it. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? I was going to say, didn't Mitchell Robinson have a decent season? And Vinny was just like, he was second team all rookie. Kind of went under the radar, I guess. How many Knicks games are you watching? I mean, I'm not watching a lot of Knicks games, so I didn't, didn't realize what happened. Remember Luke Longley? 43 out of 49. Luke Longley. Bulls. Bradley. With the uh, Bulls. And we've got Origins Alonzo Trier, who I think also had a pretty decent season. These are saying to what took the Nets forever to get into this position. Would hate to see them blow it. Yeah, I mean they're supposed, you know, if they get Kyrie, people are people are speculating that they are going to get Kyrie, and that um, 84 and 99, James, another hit for you, <laughs> right? Eric, Bay, Eric Bay's like, where are there any Knicks in this break? Um, if they sign Kyrie, which is heavily speculated, then the next speculation is that that is the gateway to getting KD. Kyrie runs with the young kids for a year while KD gets healthy. You know, they maybe not have a good season. They may maybe get a, a mid-round, maybe a lottery, outside lottery pick, top 10 pick maybe. Add that to the team. 
bring back KD, healthy, second year of his max deal. And he slots right in, and he's, and KD, KD can fit with anybody, you know what I mean? He, he He's so good, he can, he can play any role. And slide right in there. Nets could be a scary team after that. But this is this is why the NBA is so exciting. You know, it's like you never you what's what's gonna happen. You never know what's gonna happen. Official move-in day for the new store, not quite sure, soon, <laughs> within the week. I think the the breaking stuff is maybe, af I, actually, I, have to, I don't know, I have to ask, I have to ask the people. My impression was that it would be after July 4th, is at least when the, nice, Marvin Bagley III, Jersey and Otto, 66 out of 99. That's for Eric Bailey and the Kings. It's another one for you, Eric. Nice. Got some Kings in this break. So I'm thinking that the breaking operations to 149 will move in after July 4th, after that, maybe that following Monday after 4th of July, which kind of falls on a weird time of year, day this year. There's Trayvon Blewett to 75. Pelicans, that's for Nancy on the board, Nancy. And then at the end of, and then we should be fully out of here probably within that week, I think. And then we'll be, we'll be permanently there for however many years. And I think the I think the rest of the store like should be ready for I mean it'll be open to the public. Probably as soon as as soon as we're all moved in and settled in. You know, we'll we'll probably be open to the public, but the store won't be like finished per se. Probably be finished by the end of July. Or so, but I think for those of you planning your vacations, store will definitely be done by the fall. I mean, you can visit any time, but it'll it'll definitely be done in the fall. And uh, you guys can come and, especially when it starts to get colder in other parts of the country, you guys can come and hang out, spend some time in the sunshine. Yeah, well, we already have some uh, some stickers that we've been. I think our shipping team has been sending out some stickers. I don't know what their what the rhyme or reason is, but I don't even know. We had there's some there's a sticker right there. So they've been throwing these into some of your 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 packages. I don't know who's been getting them, but some people have said they got them. Some people haven't got them yet, but I think eventually they'll get to everyone. We'll have T-shirts. We'll have all that fun stuff. Maybe available to buy, I guess, if you're in the store. And maybe maybe to give away for online. I think we wanna have people spending money on brakes instead of gear. There's Elias Sova, 53 out of 75 for the Milwaukee Bucks Chronicles Auto for Bradley. Oh, is that right, Vinny? All right, all right. I'll have to keep that in mind when we when we get those shirts squared away. Nick Stanley, yeah. 
you got to pop down. I encourage everyone. I mean, one especially when I was I've always been somewhat reluctant to be like, hey, fly across the country or whatever, drive down and come to this shop just because it's so small. There's really you, you can walk around for five minutes and then and then you're done, right? But the new shop will actually have other things to do. There'll be boxes to look at. We have the card bar set up. We'll have different breaking studios where you can watch from inside or inside my studio or from outside. There's arcade games there. <laughs> We're going to have like pinball machines there set up to play. You know, TV set up to watch sports. Mo Wagner to hang out with. No, he's in, he's in Washington now. But this is still Lakers edition. That'll go to Erickson Sala. Card bar, Nick Stanley, is basically literally going to be like a bar, right? So a big big bar with like stools around there and whatnot, you know? And instead of shelves of booze, right, it'll be shelves of, of like singles and, and high-end boxes and stuff like that. Just a place to sit and hang out, use our Wi-Fi, join breaks, you know, spend some time. So we want the, I think the, the, the initial idea is that the early, um, the initial idea is that the early experience, the early idea, the initial idea is that the experience you have at the shop will be a place where you can hang out for like a couple hours. As opposed to a lot of local card shops these days, what happens, right? You go in, hey guys, looking for a box of this. All right, cool. And then that's it. You either walk out, maybe you rip it there, but then you're kind of ripping on the showcase. Maybe you're getting in the way of someone. Maybe, you know, uh, there's, you know, there's a lot, there's no real place to hang out, right? I mean, you can. And I know a lot of people do, but we want to make this more of like, hey, you can sit down at somewhere. There's, there'll be a little lounge area. I don't know. There'll be all sorts of stuff like that. You can hang out and spend some time at the shop. So that's 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 the uh, that's the idea. So it's not cuz listen, there there's enough stores. There's, you know, there's still a couple of big card shops in the area that do it like that and and it works great for them and they're fantastic for that. So why are we why should we just deliver the same experience? Like we want to be a little bit we want we're Jaspies. We want to add a little different flair to it, you know? Um, there are other people who do the box selling and that sort of stuff much better than we do, you know, and have, have, or have a much established, so there's no reason for us to try to, we want to sell boxes too, but we don't, there's no reason for us to really try to mimic someone else and have people be like, cool, you know, like there's the card shot. <laughs> Larry Nance Jr., 75 for Rich Schmidt. But if we kind of spin it as maybe there's a little bit of a hangout spot, you know, maybe there's a little more eye candy. Maybe you can walk around a little more often, you know. We're in an area where you can walk down to the beach, Nick Stanley. Hang out at Jaspie's, walk down to the beach. You know, come back and hang out for a little bit. Pick up your hits, you know, that sort of thing. That's the initial idea. I'm sure over time it'll evolve you know, and, and grow into something we haven't even thought about. But um, I don't think we, yeah, I don't think we're, we're in competition with any, with anybody. And who's in Burbank? I know, I know a guy in Burbank. But yeah, no, I don't think we're, we're there. It's uh, Burbank and South Bay, Renando Beach, Hermosa Beach is going to be pretty, there's going to be pretty, uh, it's like a world away. Chris Middleton for the Bucks, Bradley. Different location. Um, it'll be a few miles north of where we are now. We're, so we're in Redondo Beach. It'll actually be within the city limits of Hermosa Beach. But same area, same general area. I may say five or ten minutes on my commute. <laughs> hey, Kurt. You're welcome for that trout. That was a nice one. Rex says, it still drives you nuts. Sorry, Rex, I missed that comment. Nationals, we asked you if you wanted the pass. You said no. Oh, yeah, I was. we, we were like, oh, okay. I guess Rex just wants to pay his way in. <laughs> we were going to give him free entry. There's DeAndre eight to 10, something, for the Suns, Eric Bailey. It's 
something for the Suns. Uh, yeah, Suns were kind of weak first few breaks. Maybe the, maybe the next one. Looks like that's it, folks. Some Chronicle cards, some Siakam to close things out. No Luka Doncic, I'm afraid. Not in this one, but maybe in another case. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was 2018-19 Panini Chronicles Basketball. Pick your team three. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.